Hello everyone and welcome to this quick Wayward Art Company video that I'm hoping inspires a little bit of conversation about this particular subject uh, within the Blender community and within maybe the CG world uh, in general, I suppose. Uh, but that is the subject of dinosaurs. And with all of the recent scientific findings that prove that most species had feathers, it's interesting that most CG artists haven't portrayed them that way in their artwork as of yet. So last week I uploaded a new artwork to ArtStation and I called it An Artist's Struggle to Give Dinosaurs Their Feathers. And I uploaded two images, one without feathers and the other with feathers. And if you're interested in learning more about this, I'll leave a link to a very informative video in the description. And just to give you a quick rundown, uh, for more than 100 years, scientists have known that some dinosaurs had feathers, but quite recently, within the past few decades, they have discovered non-avian dinosaurs, dinosaurs that couldn't fly, also having feathers, that were really well preserved in fossils. And there's even evidence that T-Rex and Velociraptor had them, so this is a pretty big deal. And I find it really fascinating. In fact, before pursuing a career in art, I was attending university for biology uh, with a particular interest in reptile biology, both uh, alive and extinct. So, so I just, the, the subject's really interesting. But as an artist, it's actually really complicated because on one hand, it almost feels like we're, uh, we're still saying the world is flat instead of round. I mean, it's this, this uh, false image of dinosaurs that we're portraying. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, it takes so much work to, you know, sculpt a dinosaur's detail and create these complex materials and the texture painting. And then it feels kind of horrible to cover it with uh, all of these particles uh, you know, and hide all of that work that you did. And by the way, Blender, it would be great to have some form of control over the scale of this clump value uh, with, you know, maybe weight painting or, or a texture or something so that you could maybe make this clump uh, pattern smaller towards the neck and tail but you know larger towards the midsection uh, that would be really awesome so I would love to hear your guys opinions on this subject should we be keeping the old style the way that we've always known dinosaurs to be or should we be rendering them with feathers with all of this new scientific evidence that, that supports the fact that they had them? Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.